We've got a bullshit Thursday night football game tonight, and the only way to handle bullshit football games on Thursday night is by gambling. Gambling has been making bullshit games seem like the Super Bowl since the beginning of time. Lucky for us, I've already handled the bets for tonight, and one of them could easily go down as the greatest same game parlay of all time. But first, I need you to subscribe to this channel. For both of us. You saw what we did to the NBA last night, and now we're about to do the same thing to the NFL. It just makes sense that you come along for the ride. And turn on the notifications too. I go live all the time, you don't want to miss that. In fact, we're going to build a big ass NBA parlay on the live stream this afternoon. But one bet we need to lock in right now is Deontay Johnson, 60 plus receiving yards, plus 142 at DraftKings. Obviously, I used a profit boost on this thing, but it's still playable at minus 105. The only downside of using profit boost is the fact that they'll only let you bet like 10 bucks, but if we're being honest, DraftKings has already started limiting me anyway, so there's that. If you remember just yesterday, I tried to bet 100 bucks on Alperin Sengum to hit a three-pointer last night, and they limited the move to 30 bucks. We all saw him do it. Guy drilled a three, too. Probably the greatest three of all time. Point is, when you find yourself getting limited like that, just use the profit boost. They're only going to let you bet a couple bucks anyways. But this isn't about limits. This is about Deontay Johnson going for 60-plus receiving yards tonight. If we're being honest, I think he can go for even more. For starters, he's only been back for two games and he looks like Jerry Rice out there. The guy's open on literally every play. Go watch the film. I'm not the only one noticing this stuff though. Kenny Pickett is too. In the first half of last game, before Pickett got hurt, he looked at Johnson 10 times. That includes the plays where there are penalties, but if we're counting targets, we have to count all of them. Even the ones that don't count. Otherwise, what's the point of counting targets? Not the point though. The point is, Deontay Johnson is turning these targets into actual production. In his two games back, he's gone for 79 plus receiving yards in both games. The guy is a machine. I almost feel like we're stealing here getting plus money for 60 plus receiving yards. Feels like a first half line, especially since he's playing the Tennessee Titans. The Titans have a good run defense. Maybe not as good as last year's, but definitely legit. It's good enough where teams have to pass the ball on them. It's just the way. And throwing the ball actually works. On the season, only 10 teams in the entire NFL have given up more receiving yards to the wide receiver position than the Tennessee Titans. That doesn't sound that bad, but most of those teams have played one more game than the Titans. By the end of tonight, the Tennessee Titans could be the top team on that list. That would be a shame. Given the fact that the Steelers have a hard time moving the ball on the ground as it is, this is what I like to call a dream matchup. Before we get to the parlay, let's talk NBA. That sport is news driven for me and we don't have any news yet for today. But we could get some at any second which could lead to a bet. That's where Pickett comes into play. It's a bet tracking app that syncs to all of my sports books so it tracks all of my bets. Anyone who follows me can see what I bet. It also tracks all of your bets and displays the results for you so you can see how things are going at any point. Like if someone asked me what my all time ROI I is I can just look at the app and say oh it's 8.22 percent no big deal the best part is if you download pick it right now from the app store and use promo code slops locks they'll give you actual cash one out of every hundred people will get a hundred bucks that's crazy anyways a bullshit Thursday night football game would not be complete without a same game parlay at FanDuel right now there's a no sweat SGP so even if it loses you get a bonus bet that's called living. The first leg I went with was the most obvious one, and it's Kenny Pickett, 225 plus passing yards. Now that this guy has Deontay Johnson back in the fold, the sky's the limit. We already talked about the Tennessee Titans being a pass funnel, so there's already that. Pickett has only played one full game with Johnson since he came back from injury, and he went for like 230 yards that day. It was a trailing game script for Pittsburgh, but the Steelers actually ran the ball fairly decently that day, so there is that. We can't have running backs stealing all the yards. And they sure did take a few from Kenny that day, but he still went over this number. I think his path to 225 is easier tonight, even with a broken rib. Now obviously if Kenny's going to throw for 225 plus yards, then someone's going to need to catch passes too. That's just how the passing game works. Why not Deontay Johnson, six plus receptions? We already hit Johnson's yards, so why not go after his receptions in this parlay? It makes sense, and everybody knows it. The guy was targeted 14 times last game. That doesn't even include all the targets that happened on plays that didn't count because of penalties. I know of two off the top of my head. I can tell you right now that when the Steelers can't run the ball in Tennessee, they're going to look to Johnson in the short passing game. We're probably going to get a wide receiver screen, maybe even two, those are like free receptions. This is too easy. Now, all we have to do is combine this with Derrick Henry, because all roads lead to Derrick Henry 60 plus rushing yards. 
This guy's gone for 97 plus rushing yards in three of his last four games. He just steamrolled the Falcons for 100 plus last week. Most of those guys still have cleat marks on them after getting run over. Here's the thing. The Falcons have a much better run defense than the Steelers. It's like night and day. This isn't your father's Steelers, guys. In fact, the Steelers are like 27th in the NFL in opponent's yards per rush attempt. It's a stupid stat, but it's still a stat. Only five teams in the entire league have allowed more rushing yards to the running back position this season. The Steelers are a team that you can run on, and that's what Derrick Henry's going to do tonight. At the end of the day, this no-sweat parlay has no chance of losing. I'll see you guys on the live stream later. Don't forget to turn the notifications on.